Good morning, Matthews Tigers. This is for the ukulele tutorial video. So if you have a ukulele at home, you should go get it and bring it right back here as you watch this movie. So we're going to be talking about a few things in this uh, quick video. The first is how to hold your ukulele. So we start it with the base of it right on our lap. And um, you take the neck and you actually turn it so that your, um, your left hand is holding the top of the instrument and turn it to the side. If you got it your right hand, it's going to sound different. So let's make sure it's our left hand on the top, holding it down to the side. You might notice that in this video, mine will be off this way, but yours will be different. Um, this is what's called, we're not mirroring anymore. We're actually using the same hand. So if you're looking at the screen, you might think, oh, it's a mirror of what I'm supposed to do, like if you were looking at the mirror. But actually, it's going to be the opposite way. So you hold it there and make sure it's your left hand. You can check if it's your left hand by using an L. If you see that L um, with your left hand, then that's how you know it's the one to put on your ukulele. Put it on the top there and pull it to the side. I turned around so that our ukuleles will be the same direction. Yours should be facing this way. It will look like this. All right, but I'm going to be your mirror. So now I still got my left hand. See, left hand, pull it around front and we're going to turn it to the side. This is how we hold our ukulele. The other hand is thumbs up and strums down. Oh, it's not strums down on the strings. Do you hear that? We're not in tune. That's the second thing we're going to talk about today. Your ukulele will probably sound a bit like this because we've been a whole month out of, out of school so far. So on a smartphone, you can get a, something called a tuner that helps you tune your instrument. Some of you, we've already done this in class. I like to use the one right here, that green guitar pick called Guitar Tuna. If you have an iPhone or an Android phone or any smartphone, you can find this Guitar Tuna. Then you come on and you open it up and inside you'll see that it has a ukulele top, just like that, the top of the ukulele. And that's gonna help me tune my notes. I can play a string and you notice it tells me it's too low. It also shows that circle on the G down here at the bottom. Notice how that G color gets colored in when I play that string. That tells me where to find my note. So I'm going to look at my ukulele. I'm looking at the screen. I'm going to look at my ukulele. And notice how if we match the picture, that G is highlighting this note. So I can twist this one a little bit and see if it got better. Oh, you see what it says? Too high. So we got to go back to that one. Twist it down just a little bit. Oh, it's getting closer. Now it's too low. Do you hear that sound? that green line at the top, that tells us that we're good to go. And we can move on to our next string. Oh, that one's too low too. So where do I go? See on the picture? Yeah, so I'm gonna go right here to this tuning peg. I'm gonna twist it a little bit. So let's see if that fixed it. Still too low, twist a little bit more. And there's that green line at the top, so we know it's in tune. So let's move on to the next string. Now we're on the third string. Oh, what's it say? Too low. Yours will probably be too low as well. So now we look for which one is highlighted. It's this top peg here. Twist a little bit. And try it again. Too high. So twist it down a little bit. And there it is. Now that one's too high. So we go to the bottom peg right here. And twist it down a little bit. Oh, I twisted it the wrong way. It went even higher. So let's go the other way. Oh, now I'm too low. 
and there's that green line. That's how you tune your ukulele. ukulele. Remember, it's called Guitar Tuna. That's the app you want to look for, and it will show you this screen just like that. It'll be super easy to figure out. After you've got your ukulele tuned, it will sound nice and fresh again. We can play our C chord. We can play our A minor chord. See my fingers right there? Remember that nice curve shape? It's again, it's like we're holding a golf ball right there. Remember it's top string, second finger. We can play our E minor chord like this. And over the rainbow, uh, our E minor chord is actually going to look like this. You'll notice the tutorial lady, she has it all three fingers put down. But remember in class, we simplified it to just our second finger. So we've got C, A minor, we've got E minor, and we've got F, which is A minor, but you add that first finger right there on the third line. So C, A, E, and F. I'm going to play a chord and I want you to guess what it is. Okay, here's the first one. And my fingers are going to go right there. Whoa. Do you see what it is already? My third finger is on the one, two, third fret. First, second, third fret. If you guess this is the C chord, you are correct. Good job. If you missed it, that's fine. Find your C chord and remember, third fret, one, two, three, is your C chord. Let's move on to a different one. What chord is this? Figure it out. Play it. Sounds like that. If you said this is your E chord, you are correct. Because now it's our second finger on our first, second fret. C is on your third fret. E is on your second fret. It's like if your fingers were walking, right? They're just right next to each other. We got C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E. You can practice that at home if you'd like. We've also got this chord where we jump from the E at the bottom, jump it to the top, and now it makes this sound. Which chord is this? If you said A minor, you are correct. This is our A minor chord. And then our last one, we take our first finger, put it right there. And that is the F chord. Now those are our simple chords. We had one complex chord that used three fingers. Do you remember what that is? If you thought it was the G chord, that's exactly right. Here's how you make your G chord. You start with your E chord. So we've got C on the third, E on the second. We figured that out. Now we take our first finger and we count up one, two. We skip a string and play a string. Look right there. Oh, let's see if you can see. Let's turn into the light. So we've got our second fret. There's going to be a finger right there and right there on this string. Skip this second string. Skip it. So we've got E chord, first finger on that second one. Now we take our third finger and it goes right in between right in between on that second string. So we got E right on top and right in front. Again, we got E right on top, right in front. So we got that G chord. Can you play that each string at one at a time? That is your G chord. Try to make it sound as full as that does. If you get the chunk notes, look right here. I lost my golf ball hole. I need to stretch it out and make it enough space for a golf ball to sit in there. You also may need to press harder. This is me not pressing. Press down and it gets that nice ring. So remember those things as you practice through Somewhere Over the Rainbow in the next video. I think it's going to be on this side. Yeah, I'll put it right there on my website. 
or it might be down below if you're on a smartphone. But it'll be right there. Check that video out. That's how to play somewhere over the rainbow. And I hope you guys have an amazing week this week, and happy spring, guys. Bye.